Okay, here we have them all back together again. This is the uh, made in Hong Kong. Looks like a plastic battery operated gorilla kit. And uh, the problem, if you watched the first video, was that these ratchets, which would catch on the rubber wheels in the bottom of the feet, have uh, melted due to a chemical reaction between the plastic and the rubber through the years. The whole uh, end there is all melted off and this side here as well. This side melted big time. So we 3D printed some in PLA because that won't uh, ever chemically react with the rubber so it won't melt. And let's find out how we did. Yeah, did pretty good. Well, not the best locker in the world, but I didn't design it. Okay, so as you can see in the back, there are two uh, C cell batteries in it. It's the on off switch. I don't have the battery cover on because modern batteries are bigger. This won't really fit. I don't want to break it. It's not mine. Uh, somewhere on there, if I got it upside down made in Hong Kong and uh, that's what makes me think it's probably a 1960s maybe early 70s kit because the battery was still uh, smaller in diameter then I think maybe uh, a couple of C cells from the dollar store might uh, might work better Here's the uh, the bottoms As you can see it didn't turn out too bad because you had to uh, very carefully break the glue where the kit had been put together through the years without damaging anything. These are the uh, rubber wheels that uh, had a chemical reaction with the plastic where they sat and touched for a whole bunch of years and that's just what happens. Um, you mainly see that kind of chemical reaction happen on toys that have say a plastic remote control and the wire that runs back. When you put it in storage you'll wrap the wire around the remote Years later, you come and you take it out, and you find that the, the PVC coated uh, wires have melted into the plastic. Very unusual. 